All right, so this video is going to be on the limit comparison test. Okay, so what if we were asked this question? We wanted to prove that the series, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n plus 5 is convergent or divergent with the comparison test. Okay, so we want to prove it with the comparison test. Well, obviously, we're going to compare 1 over n plus 5 with 1 over n. Okay, now what's the relationship between these two? Well, n plus 5, right, that's going to be the bigger denominator, meaning that this whole fraction is going to be less than 1 over n. But there's a problem. We know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n, well, that, that's divergent, okay? And if this is bigger than this, okay, that's not going to tell us anything, okay? Because this is smaller, so it could be convergent still. So comparison test isn't going to be something that we can use for this, but there is something that we can use called the limit comparison test. So here is the limit comparison test, right? We have two series. We have uh, the sum of a sub n and the sum of b sub n. Okay, and these are series with positive terms. All right, so we take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n, and we'll go over what these mean in just a second here. And we're going to set, this is going to be equal to c, okay? And the idea is, if that c that we get is finite, okay, and it's greater than zero, then either both the series a sub n and b sub n will converge, or both series will diverge. So before we actually do this problem with the limit comparison test, we need to go over what a sub n and b sub n actually are going to be. All right, and to make this as simple as possible, a sub n is just going to be your series, okay? So that's this one over n plus five, right? And b sub n is going to be the compared series. Okay, so that's what your a sub n, that's what your b sub n are going to be. Okay, and that's going to make things a lot easier now that you actually know what these two things are that you're putting in the limit. All right. So now we can actually get into solving this problem with the limit comparison test. So I can put a little carrot here, limit comparison test. Now this is something that we can actually do. All right, so a sub n, okay, we're going to have a sub n equal to 1 over n plus 5. All right, and b sub n, that's the compared series. And the compared series, of course, is still going to be 1 over n. All right, it's very close to 1 over n plus 5. You just take out that constant right there. Okay, so now we're going to put those in a limit. So limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n plus 5, that's our a sub n, over our b sub n, which we said was 1 over n. Okay, if we flip this, then the n is going to go to the top. So we're going to end up with the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus 5. Now, you can just divide everything by n here. You can use L'Hopital. I'll just use L'Hopital here. Okay, when you use L'Hopital, you're going to get, well, the derivative of n is just going to be 1, and the derivative of n plus 5 is also going to be 1, so you'll get 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. And I guess this should probably have a limit there, actually. Limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 1. We can just say that. All right, and we end up with that, that 1 right here, okay? And that's a finite number, and it's greater than 0. So that's telling us that either both series converge or both series diverge. Okay, and we know that both series diverge because the series n equal uh, the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over n diverges. So we can write that the series is divergent by the limit comparison test. All right. So how do you remember the limit comparison test versus the comparison test? Well, the limit comparison test has a limit in it, okay? That's kind of how I at least remembered it, okay? So it's not, you know, that difficult of a test, really. You're just taking the limit of 
uh, your your series over the compared series and if it is a finite number and it's greater than zero then you know that both either both series converge both series diverge we did that here with our example comparing it to uh, b sub n equals 1 over n and we ended up getting that our limit was equal to 1 which meant that it's true that either both series converge or both series diverge and we know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n diverges okay and that means that well if, if one of those series diverge then that means that both series diverge so that means that our series is divergent by the limit comparison test now you might have to write out it a little bit more maybe say that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n is divergent and therefore that this series is divergent as well but that's something that kind of varies what is good enough from you know class to class I guess so definitely see you know what is your professor saying I guess uh, is acceptable all right so that's gonna do it for this video so if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.